Alright y'all, I'm gonna start off cleaning my hands with the um, Purell. Alright. <clears throat> Clean off my hands, disinfect. I already washed my hands. It's supposed to just be sanitized the whole time. Alright, so first thing I'm gonna do is get my tea. And I'm going to flip off this little cover here. This is the first time I'm doing this alone, so you're gonna learn with me. Uh, this is my vial, which is 100 milligrams per milliliter. Uh, that means right now, since I'm at uh, 50 milligrams a week, I'll be taking 0.5 of this. All right, so I only need half, 50 milligrams. All right, so next thing I'm gonna do is take this alcohol prep pad. Clean off the top of the vial. You want to rub it in there to get that friction. That's really what cleans it. Alright, now I'm going to take my syringe. Open it from the back. Alright, so what I need to do is draw 0.5 of air. Let's see. This is 3 milliliters. So, let's see. Alright, so I drew 0.5 milliliters of air. See that there? I'm gonna inject it into the vial. Ah, there it is. Perfect. Then I'm gonna turn the vial over and pull back. Let me show you guys the markings. So, I'm going to hold so that the vial will fill up. You want to pull it a little past where you want to inject anyway, just to make sure it's full. You get out all the air. I'm going to pull back a little more. Alright. So, I'm going to push and push out the air. Doesn't look like enough. I just want to pull a little more to fill up that blank space. And then push back. Get the air out. Looks pretty good, perfect. That's half a milliliter. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna clean off the spot. If I had a safety on this, I'd put the safety on, but I don't have the safety, so... I'll hold this. <laughs> uh, last week, I did it in the left thigh, so today I'm going to do it in the right thigh. Like, the midsection, in the meaty part of the muscle, right about here.
start from inside and work my way out to make sure it's all disinfected. Actually, I just touched it a little bit by accident, so. And uh, you're not supposed to blow on it because that apparently can, I don't know, I guess you could add bacteria from your mouth. Who knows? You know what I mean? So just be as sanitized as possible. Let it dry by itself. Uh, my nurse told me that I could also find a marker if I wanted to, like something on my leg, like a beauty mark or a freckle, so that I remember where to inject every time. I have a number of freckles on my leg, so that doesn't work for me. <laughs> if it works for you, then good. Anything to help you remember. Alright, so what I'm going to do is inject right here. Okay. I'm going to pull so that after I inject, I can let go and create a seal with my skin. <clears throat> and I usually just do it straight down, uh, like at a 90 degree angle. I like to hold it like this too, just because it, I don't know, it's easier. It's like a stabbing motion. But don't stab. <laughs> don't put it in too deep. Don't use too much pressure. Just kind of find a 90 degree angle. And then, so let me do it more towards the middle. I tend to do it towards the side, it just looks like more of my muscle is on the side, but they want me to do it more towards the middle, so I have to do what the nurse says, alright? Just push it in. Slowly push in the T. And that's it. Let go. That creates a seal. And now discard of this safely. So what I'm going to do is put the cap back on. Okay. caps on and I actually have a box for this a home sharps container this I got at um, Rite Aid I guess you could get it at like CVS a pharmacy something like that um, five you, bucks yeah it only cost me five bucks so it's not bad but I heard you can also make them out of a, uh, what is that? Laundry detergent. Yes, a laundry detergent bottle. Let's stick that in there. Alright. You can make them out of a laundry detergent bottle, and that would be legal to dispose of your needles. Okay. Also, I heard of this neat little trick. No. I heard of this neat little trick. Instead of actually um, disposing of the whole needle... Uh, disposing of the whole needle and syringe, just get rid of the needle. Okay, now I'm gonna. That wraps up my injecting part of it. Um, but yeah, you can actually just dispose of the needle, and that will save you a lot of room in your sharps container. And you'll probably end up using one for like several years, okay? Um, it's a little trick that my friend taught me. But, uh, yeah, that was it. I told you guys I was going to show you doing a shot. Uh, that was a 21-gauge needle, by the way, which was definitely harder to get into my skin than the one that uh, I was using uh, at the doctor's office. Uh, I don't actually remember what gauge that was. I'm going to get more into, you know, the needles and the gauges and the dosages uh, just so I can be... I, I can then add my own preferences to my shots, you know. I can uh, change my gauge to whatever uh, feels better, you know, after a while. The standard is apparently 21 gauge, but you can get the feel of different gauges and uh, move towards something that's more comfortable. Anyway, that was my first shot at home. It wasn't bad. <laughs> thought it was going to be a lot worse. Uh, you guys were with me, so thanks for that. Again, this is uh, the X-Man on T. Check me out every week.